Hey guys, another quick update on the RepRap Prusor i3 3D printer from Replicio. Um, no major problems to report with this thing. It has been reliable to say the least, which is exactly what you want from a kit that you assemble yourself. Um, so yeah, still very happy with this thing. Um, finally got around to attaching the graphical LCD screen that I purchased off eBay. This is about 25 Australian dollars. Uh, it didn't come with this blue case. Um, you can download you know, cases for all these LCD screens off Thingiverse. Um, that took a couple of hours to print. It took me quite a while to print this one actually because it is so wide and flat. I had a couple of issues with um, just lifting or warping with the ABS. So it took me a couple of goes plus quite a large brim um, while printing this thing to actually get it to stay flat. So uh, I'm looking at ways to fix it in the future. That'll be another video. Um, as you probably know, the LCD screen, which has an SD card slot on the side, which allows you to copy your G-code file to it, allows you to print um, with a 3D printer without it being attached to a computer via USB. Uh, this means that this printer can be taken anywhere you like to print, which is great, especially with the ABS filament that I've been printing. Uh, the fumes can get um, quite overwhelming at times, so it's great to just move this into another room out of the way. Um, I've had some success as well with, um, I guess, uh, organic shapes rather than just geometric shapes. And I'm still printing with ABS. I'm pretty sure PLA will be easier to print with, especially when it comes to organic shapes. But um, so far, I've, I've been very impressed. Uh, this is uh, the Yoda head you can download. All these you can down download off, um, off Thingiverse. Um, this Yoda head was printed at about 50% scale, I believe. Uh, the, the resolution is 0 0.2 millimeters. Um, and it's come out very well. I'll just see if I can get that to focus there. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so I can't complain about this. Is, this was the first go as well um, with the Yoda head. Uh, this one took about four hours to complete, and um, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, there's a couple of holes right at the very top of his head. I guess in the slicer program, you can adjust the number of top layers. I'll bump that up from the default three to about, I don't know, seven or eight next time to fix that. Uh, the next one, which is also quite popular, I believe, is the Pink Panther Woman, it's called. Um, this one's come out very nicely, it's very smooth finish. Once again, 0.2 millimeters. Uh, this one is hollow. Uh, the Yoda was about a 35% infill. This one is four perimeters, uh, but hollow. And um, there are no gaps at all in this. Um, very nice indeed. Uh, and finally, I've printed a couple of these out now, but this one is quite large. I think this one is still, this one is actually scattered 100%. Um, this is just the octopus. Took me a couple of goes to get this right. Once again, the top of the head is quite, um, quite flat. There's not a lot of, not a lot of support there. I wonder if I can get that to focus. I need a better camera. Anyway, after a few goes, so this was 50% infill and eight top layers, I finally got it to come up perfectly. There's no gaps at all in the head, so it is possible with ABS to, to print quite nicely. Um, I did have one of the tentacles lift halfway through this one here, but once again, I'll be looking at ways to um, rectify uh, the glass bed with just hairspray, not being, I guess, enough with larger prints. It's perfect for smaller based prints like that or that, they're not going to warp, but anything large like, like this octopus or, or the LCD cover um, tends to want to warp, so I'll be covering that. Uh, and once again, the main reason why I bought this printer was to print my own quadcopter chassis, so this is just something that I've um, designed in a CAD program, Cubify, and um, printed out, and yeah, it's come up very well. This fly is fantastic, by the way. I'll be posting another video on the performance of this with a HD camera attached to the front. Uh, okay, quality of ABS plastic from Chinese manufacturers of unknown origin. Uh, this is the blue ABS that, I, that I've been printing with for a while, so I've gone through over half of the ABS. And as you can see, as I've gone down the reel, I've noticed these blemishes or stress marks that have appeared. I can only surmise that as I've, I've getting, as I've gotten uh, closer to the to the spool, um, it's the bend radius of the three millimeter ABS has just been exceeded for I guess 
um, what, what this is rated for, and you can just see the kinks that have started to appear. And the deeper you go, the, you know, the more that there is. So surely that has got to affect print quality of your finished um, print, especially if you're trying to print something with a, an, an, an organic shape as opposed to a geometric shape. It's really going to show all the, all the blemishes. So I highly recommend steering clear, at least this is from my experience, of any of these reels of ABS 3mm plastic which are quite small, which have a, a, a low diameter, a, a lower diameter, um, which is probably another reason to switch over to the 1.75mm uh, ABS because I would assume that the bending radius of 1.75 uh, is a lot smaller before you start seeing uh, all these blemishes. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, the green stuff that I have up here, I have started to see, if I dig a bit deeper, I have started to see, you know, stress marks as well in there. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be experiencing that with the green stuff, no doubt. Um, but besides that, still very happy with this thing. I've only been printing in ABS. I'm sure PLA uh, would produce much finer um, organic shapes. I'm only printing at 0.2. It's as low as I've gone. I've tried a 0.1 millimeter, like just a test cube. Very, very fine finish. I just don't think, or at least with me, this particular J head, um, I'm not having much success with 0.1 millimeter, or at least with the ABS plastic seems to curl up. So I'm still yet to, I guess, fine tune the very fine prints. But for what I'm using it for, things like printing uh, quadcopter frames, uh, it is absolutely perfect. Uh, one thing that, I've, that I'll be doing, because I'm having issues with fine prints, I've gone out and I've picked up myself uh, an E3D version 6. So this has just come in the mail from the UK. I'll be um, opening that up probably in another video and I'll be attaching it to, uh, to the extruder here and we'll see what the E3D version 6 can do in relation to, I guess, my experiences with the um, Mark V uh, J-head that's here. So this will be a one-to-one -one comparison uh, just to see if what they say about this, e about this E3D is as good as they say. So anyway quite happy. Um, yeah, keep on printing. Speak to you soon. Bye.